Hey, good morning everyone. It is Tuesday, April 28th, and Tuesday means modern. We've got a big deck dump today with 71 decks in it, and uh, yeah, there's a few companions, let's put it that way. Uh, let's get into it. we got we got a lot to cover here. So, right off the bat, we've got True Hero with what looks to be Four Color Shadow, or is this Jund? This is Jund Shadow and Luris as a companion. Get used to me saying that. Also, Loris, Mistress Bobble. Drew, 647A with... Uh, this is just a Galia Gruul aggro deck. Fast and quick. And a Tarkus command to finish him off. Some Bushwhackers. I guess this is 4-whack, not 8-whack. But, yeah. Nice little deck. Jadez with uh, this is Mardu Shadow and we don't have any companion here but we've definitely got all the good Mardu hits Litian's Huo 670 Litian's Huo I love trying to pronounce some of these uh, we've got Combo Goblins and Goblins flying all over the place. Good fun. No companion needed here. Uh, good to see this deck starting to consistently put up 5-0s. It's one of, my, one of my favorite archetypes in the format. Trellin with Mono Blue Tron. We've got our Mind Slavers. We've got our Sundering Titans. We've got all the fun Blue Tron stuff. No companion in this one. The Pin Sword. I wonder if they just want to bet with this because they just 5 0'd with a Lutri blue red control deck. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All your blue red control hits. And maybe even a Yadaro to finish it off. Got a bunch of the uh, different planeswalkers. Fun. <laughs> Uh, here's your uh, here's your commander and modern deck right there. All right, Ballastin ninety three with a Zerda uh, Zerda Abzon Coco, or are we just green white green white Coco? Yeah, and we've got our uh, we got Spike Feeder Heliod. Duskwatch, Walking Ballista, all the little combos. Good little deck there. Reusing Zerda as a, as the uh, companion. Golgar Burr with a Lurus uh, Jund. Yeah. Is this Jund or is this black? Black green. This is the rock. So black green rock with Lurus Leading the way, again, it still floors me that, that it's considered better to have Lurus as a companion than Liliana the Veil in your deck. I guess it, this card doesn't mean as much if your opponents are starting with 8 cards. Yo gets a 5-0 with a Lurus... Uh, this is Obzon Delirium? Yeah. Traverse... Path, Bobble, of course. We had Bobble up here. I haven't checked, but it would not surprise me if every single Lurus deck is running for Mishra's Bobble. Uh, Foreign Magra gets a 5 0 with their uh, Bring to Light Niv Mizzet Sahili Cat Combo deck. This person has been kind of the leader on the niv -Mizzet forum of the Sahili combo flavor of niv -Mizzet. And I call it a niv -Mizzet deck just because there is one in there, and it's frequently gotten with Bring to Light. But it's really a, a Sahili combo deck with niv -Mizzet for value and uh, the multicolor answers around it. But yeah, this is definitely a uh, combo deck. It's even got the uh, Resto Kiki combo in it. 
So combo Niv from Foreign Magra, and it is a Yorion deck as well. McCleskey with humans. Good old straightforward humans, no companion, nothing like that. That was, this is the core of my competitive modern uh, history is decks like humans. I started off, I was kind of known for playing Naya allies and then switched to four color humans before uh, Ixalan came out and then the five color deck after, uh, after Collins Mullen made it popular. Um, but that, that lineage of fast creature um, Aether Vile decks is kind of where I cut my teeth in competitive modern. And even I had a uh, Dios Reverendo, I think I pronounced his last name right. If I didn't apologize, Dios, uh, I had him do an avatar of me as in the style of the art of Aether Vile on. Uh, yeah, I'll have to change my YouTube ha YouTube avatar so you can see what that looks like if you don't know me on Twitter. Hugo87 with Storm. Pretty straightforward build here. No Empty the Warns in the main deck. Raysons with... Uh, this is Eldrazi Tron. Yep. Uh, got your Karn package. No, no uh, Companion. Tuganaxos with, what do we got here? This is Bant Snow Control. This is Bant Snow Blade. Have not seen people playing that recently. Everyone switched over to the control version, but Tuganaxos went with a Snow Blade version and, and saw some, some success. Metcalf 23 with three Loris Main, none in the side. So no companion, but Lurus Main. This is a mono white stone blade. Yeah, maybe a Death and Taxes style deck. Yep. Yeah, I guess this would be Death and Ta Death and Taxes. Our Rosansky with a Lurus Rally the Ancestors deck. And we are in Obzon. Are we at, no, just black white. Black white rally the ancestors with Lurus. Triosk with hardened scales Lurus. Four Ozoliths. Two animation modules. All the counter shenanigans you could want. Inter Energiza with Yorion humans. If you can't decide which humans to play, just play Yorion on the side and play a whole lot more of them. This is the first time I've seen Yorion as a companion. Usually Gigantha is used for humans because there's little to no double mana symbols in any other cards. And hey, it's a free 5-5. Five five. Um, in fact, could this have been... Now it's running Oriok Champion, so that's that breaks that mold. But I think everything else here would qualify. For Gigantha, but yeah, ran it with the Orion and worked out. I'd be a little worried diluting the access to Aether Vial, but got them a 5 0. Joke 87 with a non companion. Uh, this is Through the Breach. Yep. Blue Red Control deck with the Through the Breach Emrakul combo finish. Be Real 2 with a Lurus. Uh, this is Black Red on Earth. Not Jund. Yep, Black Red on Earth. Four Mishra's Bobble. No surprise there. Three Pillage in the side. Nils Fit with Lurus Bobble. Uh, this is Jeskai. I guess it's Jeskai Control. These, the 11 creatures make me hesitate on the control moniker, but it, that's what this deck is doing. Meddling Mage is shutting you down. Sprite Dragon is your win con. Snapcaster to get your, your uh, control elements back. And of course, 
There's four bobbles with Loris. Justo D'Angelo with another Loris deck, and this one is kind of a red green prowess. That's Jund Prowess, I guess. It's splashing green for Tarmogoyf. And Mana Morphos, I guess, if that's what you draw. But hopefully you're drawing mountains. And splashing black for Unearth. And that's kind of interesting. Lurus and Sealifier is a very good thing. Mean Fanny Pack. With a Lurus black-white... This isn't quite Dead Guy Ale. It's more on the lines of Death and Taxes. But we're close to Dead. It doesn't have as much discard, I think, as Dead Guy Ale. That was a black white Bob Liliana Bitter Blossom deck, if I recall. Mean Fanny Pack with that uh, little. And yeah, there's the bobbles. Smuggler's Coppers. Nice here. But nice 5 0 there. Rai K with Nyazu, Loris, Bobble. When your zoo decks are playing Bobble, that. Making a face here. Not liking it. I Rock with Blue. Daniela's masterpiece of deck building. Good old Kiln Fiend Blue. I guess this isn't actually blue, because there's no blue cards in this deck. Though she spells blue, B-L-O-O. -O. Um, but yeah, this is more mono-red blitz, I guess. Blue is when you splash for it. Kinzaburo with a Yorion four-color snow control. Sun Titan. That's interesting. Kind of cool. Gets Uro, Uro triggers back, and then you can... Uro trigger for free. Then you can escape your... Yeah, I like it. I like where they're going there. And that's a Yorion deck. Manuel Daninger with... Uh, what do we got here? This is a Lurus Shadow. This is Four Color Shadow. Manuel Danninger, Four Color Shadow with Lurus. Macrotal with another Lurus. This is Lurus Burn. Just don't bother bringing Lurus to the table if you're not playing four bobbles. There's no point. Hugo Freitas 1 with Electro Balance. No companion here. Deck doesn't really need it. Because Gargadon is a thing. Watsi Vendor Reggie V, we saw them last time. And what did they pull out this time? We've got Lurus Infect. Plague Stinger. That's kind of cool. Six R Gamel with a Lurus. Oh wow. A Lurus deck with no Mishra's Bobble. That's like a unicorn. Uh, this is kind of an Obzon. It's mostly green white. There's a little. Is there any? Only black is on Earth. Fatal push. It's just kind of Obzon aggro. It's not even Coco. Which you could run with Luris. But they don't want to. Anuix. Inuit. In Anui XD. Something like that. With. Uh, this is. Titan Field. Yep. Titan Field. No Companion. A Tatiova main. That's kind of cool. Chewy478 with Living End. And no Companion. I don't know that Living End could run a Companion, to be honest. If they had a cycling themed Companion, you'd be pretty set. Ak S with. Uh, this is another Titan Field deck. It's different between these two. Ah, Akas is running the Karn Great Creator package. That's our primary difference here. So, yep, two different Titan Field decks. Wishing Us, Wishing Gas, or Wisconsin 
chin gas. Who knows? Uh, Lurus, and this is uh, the Devoted Druid combo deck. Yep. Uh, no Mistress Bobble. Hey, that's twice now. Dylan Fay gets a 5 0 oh, with Team Wreck. Or maybe just Simic Wreck. There's no red in this, is there? Yep, Simic Reclamation. Ghost Work gets a 5 0 oh, with Green Red Mid Range. Four Pillage. I've, I've seen a, a version of it running around now with no Pillages. So interesting to see the uh, changes here. I guess the no Pillage version. Well, even so, you could. Uh, this one's not running Obosh, but you could run Pillage in the Obosh version. So, I don't know. No companion here, though, because they wanted those Chandras. And Bloodbraid Elf. So, yeah, when you play the Obosh version, you give up Bloodbraid Elf and Chandra and pick up some other uh, more Bone Crusher Giants and things like that because it gives you something to do on two. Kinky Gruel is actually playing Gruel, sort of. I mean, there is Xenagos in here. That's the only red. This is mostly a mono-green ramp deck. I think is the best way to describe this. I like the uh, Platinum Appearing Madcap sideboard. That's cool. Uh, no companion here, either. Super Mario Brothers 2005 with... Uh, this is... Mono White Eldrazi, I guess. Or just a variant on Death and Taxes. With Stoneblade, Thought Not Seer, and Eldrazi Displacer. Marajani with a Lurus Death Shadow. We are Grixis Shadow. Just built this, put this deck together for my son. Not quite exactly the same build, but close enough. Uh, he's wanted to play... Actually, I'm sorry. He wanted Grixis Delver, not Grixis Shadow. So, But yeah, he's he's wanted to play that in, for quite a while. Esmud 1 with a Lurus. Renin 6. This is kind of Grixis Snow. Grixis Snow Control. Uh, no, we're not Grixis. Uh, brain's not functioning. We've got green. We're four color snow. Yep. Fnoop. With Neobrand. Enough said. Carl, 1991, gets a 5 0 with Lura Scales. Slightly different build than we saw before. Again, four Ozoliths. This one has welding jars in it. I have to compare the list to see uh, see the differences. Torpor orb in the side, kind of interesting start. I I've heard it said that anyone who's running a Karn Great Creator package or is artifact based should start thinking about Torpor orb in their sideboard. Uh, there's especially with the Yorion decks, the threat of Gyruda. And though Gyruda hasn't really shown itself to be as bad as people thought it might be. Um, Humans is around. There, there's Torp Orb shuts off a surprising amount of stuff. The drawback, of course, is if they're playing Uro, uh, no, they don't get the, the card and the three life, but they get a three mana 6-6. Six, six. So uh, tread carefully there with Torp Orb, but that's a card that should be in your arsenal, so watch out for it. Oliver Hart gets a 5-0 with a Lurus Shadow, and we are Grixis Shadow here. Yep. Uh, Shock Chan with a Zerda. Uh, Knight of the Reliquary deck. What do we got going on here? Dramoka's Command, Umbral Mantle. Yeah, this is almost a Knight of the Reliquary combo deck. It's not running... No, it can't run the retreat. Actually, I guess it could with Zerda. Um, but yeah, kind of a creature combo value deck there with Knight of the Reliquary. Jason C34 
with a Gigantatron deck. Yep, that looks like a good approach to Tron these days. In fact, I might have to try that out. Elbow Soap. With Gyr Speaking of Gyruda, here we go. Uh, let's see how many clones we've got in this one. Spark Devil, Sakashima. So these get around the legendary issues. Resto to blink your Garudas. Progenitor Mimic to make more of them. Metamorph. Uh, Phantasmal Image. And then one Kologon to give everything haste. So what you're hoping with this deck is you hit a bunch of the non-legendary copies. If you hit one of them, any future copies can copy the non-legendary version. Keep the chain going, hope to hit the Kologon, and then everything's got haste and you kill them. That's the idea. The Lotus Bloom and the Pintad Prism are interesting. Not the mana ramp I would expect out of the deck, but hey, zero's even. Can put it onto the onto uh, the battlefield. Oh no, it's got to be a creature, doesn't it? Garuda has to be a creature. Uh, creature card, yeah. So never mind. Uh, Liliana of the Vests is not playing Liliana in there. Saltai. Is this Saltai? No, we're obs on here. So this is a junk deck. Not playing Liliana. Despite your handle, you lie. But we do have a Luris junk deck. Lingering Souls to block all those non-trampling uh, big things that are out these days. Benjamin Abel. Benjamin Abel. With Dredge. No companion here. Dog Mac Mister with uh, what do we got? This is ad nauseum. Yep. So it's looking to be if you're not playing a companion, you good chance you're playing combo because that might be a good way to get past the companion shenanigans. We've got a Luris Com Luris Bogles deck from Test Dummy Fifty Four. That's kind of a natural home for it, I think. Halbitran with... Uh, this is a Yorion Kinnon Teamer Snow Concoction. Teamer Snow. Yeah, it's kind of a mid-range... Uh, yeah. Solid mid-range deck here. We've got four Mistress Bobble with the Yorion. Just for value. Some Spell Bomb. Emery. Urza. So, Team Urza. Team Urza. Only 14 card sideboard, even with the Yorion. That's a flex. Traft gets a 5 0 with a Lurus. Uh, this is Jeskai Control. And boy, is it ever a control deck. There's just four Snapcasters as your creatures. And two Colonnades. Sandror with... Uh, this is Safi, Eric's Daughter, Renegade Rally or Combo deck. Zulaport Cutthroat, Cartel Aristocrat. To get things started... Eladomri's Call to get the Cutthroat. And no Companion. Got more Calls on the side. Interesting little deck. Punt Then Wine with Amulet Titan. That's the story of some people's magic careers, is that handle? Uh, yeah, Amulet Titan. Uh, no Companion. Cavern in the side if you're facing... Control, you get that second one. And this one's got the Karn package. Macrocosmos with... Uh, this is the red-green mid-range deck. This is a tweak on it. I have not seen Captain Lannery Storm in these builds, nor Deathcord Scavengers. So they're trying out some of the new 
different uh, red green creatures. And there's a ton of them. Crasher, this and with Obosh. This is an interesting little tweak on the archetype. Trying some new cards here. I like some of the stuff that's going on. I really like Captain Lannery Storm. Um, hasty threat that if you've got Obosh out, it's going to hit for four. Thundermaw Hellkite. That's kind of cool. Does two damage to every flying creature. That, yeah. I like that. A lot of flexibility here, I think, in in the Obosh builds of red green mid range. We've got a lot of creatures to choose from. Sebastian Stuckel with a Yorion Bant Snow control deck. Control wants to go long, and 80 cards in your deck gives you more things to do when you're going long. E Principe with a Lurus. Uh, are we Jund? We are Jund. Lurus Jund with our Bobbles and our Sealifiers. Mad Max Ernst with a Lurus. Uh, this is a Sultai Unearth deck. Kind of cool. I like it. Goyf's Hex Drinkers as the primary threats. Cool. Like it. Arangamu with a Yorion Four Color Snow Control deck. Yep. Mana Symbol. I love that handle. <laughs> love that handle. Uh, we've got another Four Color Snow deck here with Yorion. Uh, this one's got slightly different mix and also this one is black instead of white uh, so it's running dead of winter and not supreme verdict um, royal scions i didn't see in the prior one so yeah you can go black you can go white either way off your teamer snow base and uh, you know they get you different things different uh different style of play M. Hayashi is back with a 5-0 with a Lurus Prowess deck. Mono Red Prowess. I guess it is it's Boros Prowess because you want to be able to cast that Lurus. And I found out why Lurus of the Dream Den doesn't show up as an image here. It's because the card actually has a hyphen in the name. But they put it in the list without it. So a little bug there they need to fix. I9K with a Lurus uh, Demir Control. Yep. Charlie Gua with a Lurus Delver, Grixis Delver deck. This is the deck my son wanted me to put together for him. This is very similar to the build I put together. It's probably at least 70 cards identical. He's always he's always played he played a lot of Delver and Popper. Um, I don't remember if he played. Is it Delver in Modern when Treasure Cruise was legal for that brief shining moment that the deck just destroyed everything? Uh, Mister Rabe, with a Yorion. Uh, what are we? Teamer. Teamer Snow Control. Teamer Snow debatable whether it's a control deck or a mid-range deck. Alf MTG with Infect and no companion on Infect. I'm surprised it's not a Lurus deck. What would stop a uh, Viridian Corruptor is our one non-compatible with Lurus card. Might just wanted to not run it. Rockstar gets a 5-0 with a Lurus. Uh, this is a Demir Whirr. So this is Demir Thopter Sword. No Urza, of course, with Lurus. Good 5-0 there. And yep, there's your bobbles. Hell Monkey with Bring to Light Niv Mizzet. And this is the Yorion build. 
and still only manages eight creatures, even out of 80 cards. So this is definitely on the more controlling side. Two glittering wishes and a bunch of stuff in the side. Geists in the side, I like that. I like that a lot. 603 Leb with a companionless. Uh, this is Amulet Titan. And all you Titan fans or Titan curious, Amulet curious people, go check out these two builds that we showed today and see where the differences are and what you might like better. Brainstorm 39 with a Yorion control deck. This is four color snow control. This one is the white variant. Uh, yep. Yorion with those astrolabes. Bounce them again, get more cards. And our last build of the day is from Jordi Tetier with a Lurus Delver deck. We are, what are we? We are Sultai Delver. That's kind of cool. Nimble Mongoose, Tarmogoyf. That's kind of cool. So, summing up here, uh, I did the math earlier. We had 71 decks today. 45 of them had companions. That's over 60%. 29 of those were Lurus. And just on its own, that's alarming. We're talking Oko levels of penetration here. Um... 10 were Yorion. We also saw a couple of Zerta decks and Lutri, Gigantha, Gyruda, and Obash all showed up today. So seven of the 10 companions. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm concerned where this is going. We've gone from 40% for the first post uh, Ikoria dump to now 63%, I think it was today. I don't like the direction it's going. I'm not sure how people... It seems now you're either playing combo or you're playing a companion. And that doesn't feel like a very healthy metagame. Uh, yeah, so we'll see where this goes. Thanks for hanging out with me today, digging through this dump. We had a few spicy little things. I loved that blue-red Lutri deck. That was fantastic. Nice job, the pin sword. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, do please hit that like and subscribe button. And... You know, hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes up. And this afternoon, I'm going to be digging through the results of the last week to two weeks and see where our preliminary events are taking us these days. And I'll take a look a little bit into the challenges and qualifiers and other other top level tournaments that are going on. But uh, I do want to stick with the preliminaries and see where that daily that daily event is taking us to so that's it stay safe out there have fun and we will talk to you tomorrow bye bye